Hi, I'm Daniel Fuller from the Abundant Life Training Center, and welcome to our daily community meditation, where today we're talking about the beginning and the end. So I'm reminded of, we've been talking about a baseball coach that I have, was one of the best hitting instructors I've ever been around. He had the ability to go in and just transform a hitter very, very quickly. And when it came down to the mechanics of the baseball swing, one of the things he used to always teach was that if the beginning and the end of the baseball swing are in the correct place, everything in the middle tends to work out. And so he was constantly working on us and drilling on us to get things in the correct place in the beginning of the swing and the end of the swing. Just constantly drilling those things. And I'm reminded, Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. This is a biblical principle, I believe. We get the beginning and the end of anything in place. Everything in the middle just has a way of working out. And I've just really been thinking about this in terms of how our day goes. If we get the day off to a good start and we finish the day well, everything in the middle tends to go pretty well. But sometimes we get off to a bad start. We don't really set that tone in the morning by getting connected to God first thing in the morning. And then things start to kind of get away from us. We don't get off to a good start and then the middle of the day kind of falls apart. And so I think we can make this a priority, getting the beginning and the end of our days and anything else that we do in the proper position so that everything in the middle just finds its way. But let's pray first, and then we'll get into our time of communion. Today, we're going to take communion over this. Heavenly Father, Father, I pray for everybody who's watching or listening, their families, their friends, everybody connected to them, and all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light, into the kingdom of your dear son. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down, he was smitten, he was bruised and pierced and crushed and destroyed all so that you could be on our side and that you could be fighting for us. And I keep asking that you, the Father of glory, would give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we would know you more and more. That the eyes of our hearts would be enlightened to know the hope to which you've called us and the riches of your glorious inheritance that is in us and the immeasurable greatness of your power to us who believe. The same power that you exercised in Christ when you raised him from the dead, and you seated him at your right hand in heavenly places. Far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And you put all things under his feet and made him to be the head of the body. The fullness of him who fills all in all. And Father, I ask you to bless us and to make your face shine upon us. Let us find grace and favor in your eyes. Expand our borders and our territory. Expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ and to let it flow through us so that we do good and are a blessing to people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today and help us make the most of those opportunities. Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes. And do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And we ask you to stretch out your hand to heal and do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So Jesus, we're just so thankful that you are the Alpha and the Omega. Father, teach us how to get the beginning and the end of everything we do in the proper position so that the things in the middle just tend to work out. Help us to walk in this and to just apply this into our lives consistently the way that you intended us to. You think about the Bible. The Bible starts out in the Garden of Eden, ends up victorious in the kingdom of heaven at the end. Got the beginning and the end in place. As Father, we thank you that night Jesus was betrayed. He took the bread. And he said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. You laid upon Jesus the punishment that we deserved. And by his stripes you've been healed. He was crushed and destroyed by you, smitten by you. 
so that we could be right and holy and perfect in your sight. All through his one sacrifice. And you raised him up from the dead and you seated him at your right hand. And you raised us up together with him and made us sit together with him. And we get this opportunity today to remember, to remember our union with you through the sacrifice of Jesus. So I thank you for this bread and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. He said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood, poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. And it's the forgiveness of sins that released us from darkness and transferred us into the light. We get to have this covenant relationship with you, God. This partnership with you. And so I thank you for this cup. And ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our juice. All right, so normally after our time of communion, we talk about some practical application into our health and fitness. One of the ways we can apply this, the beginning and the end, the beginning of our workout, the end of our workout. I like to start every workout by focusing on increasing the circulation in the body. One of the ways to do that is by training the feet or the calves because blood tends to kind of get stuck down in the bottom of the legs. And then at the end of every workout, we like to train the hands to secure things with the hands. I like to start the workout by training the feet and ankles and calves and the workout by training the grip and hands. I hope this has been helpful for you today. I feel like it be a part of what we're doing in the Abundant Life Blueprint. You can go to the Abundant Life Training Center.com.